All right, I'm gonna show uh, my settings for visual uh, on AMS2. And for this, I'm gonna get on the track. I chose the Nordschleife because it's a track that has uh, a lot of vegetation and such. So if we come down here, I'm gonna try to line us up somewhere where there's enough vegetation. And I'm gonna click Alt-Z, and this should pop up here um, NVIDIA experience. So a game filter right now, I have this. So let's, let's pull up somewhere a little bit better. Pull up to an area where we can really see the fidelity. Right now it looks too clear because of the glare inside the car. But if we exit it'll look a lot better. Let's stop right here. Where there's some shadow and such. I'll even reverse a little. But yeah, here we go. So, right now, the wheel's alive. Um, but yeah, so with the settings off, this is the original quality of the game. Still looks really good. This just pops it out a lot more, in my opinion. Just makes it more realistic. Um, like with the shadowing and everything. But uh, basically what I did, I added some filters, which were these to the left. Uh, sharpen, magnet, uh, details, color, and brightness, contrast. So sharpen, I don't have the intensity too strong. Like, if you put it too strong, it looks really good. But at the same time, it creates like a film grain, which this helps blur it out. But it kind of cancels the sharpness in a way. So on that far tree over there, if we use this, it pretty much cancels the what we just did. So it's almost not worth using. I just have a little bit because I hate film grain. So like this is more than enough. Vignet, I have it at 100. Don't ask me why, I like it. Details. So sharpen, I did sharpen it up a little bit. And I have it around 50% or 60. But I've already changed it, but it still looks good to me. Uh, clarity. So if you turn this down, it gets almost like the original. But if you pull it up, it really pops up the shadows and just the almost like the draw, the draw distance. It gets rid of that blurry. So it's even good to go like a good up here to 50%, 4950. HDR toning, you can turn it down, you can turn it up. Uh, too far up makes it too shiny. If you put it around here like 70-ish percent, it's nice. Bloom, we don't want too much of that. Just a little bit is enough. Color, it's good. I didn't touch this much. I do like more vibrant things, so maybe I can do this. The temperature is fine. The tint, not really too sold on that. And the brightness and contrast. So did this. Shadows, you can really make them pop out dark if you want, which is a good way to make a game look realistic but then you have to kind of compensate. So there's no winning with uh, shadows, in my opinion. Like you really need to, to find the sweet spot. The highlights, this brings up more color, but it ruins the sky, in my opinion. If you bring it down, it kind of stays nice. Contrast, I'm a guy who likes contrast. Exposure, you can make it higher, lower. I prefer like a mid, yeah. This is the original. This is what I have. I know I kind of mildly change what I had. It doesn't really matter. And then if you turn this, whoop, turn it on, close this up. Um, this is just the end cockpit camera. But if we turn it, look around the car. But if we go ahead and, uh, you know, look around, even change the camera to this one. I find it a lot more realistic. Uh, just the trees, everything pops out a lot more. 
the vehicle itself looks amazing. Look at that. Beautiful. Just looks really, really nice. You can see me steer there. Yeah, like, looks really good. And I mean, inside the vehicle you always get like, a, it looks lighter, it doesn't look as nice. But if you go to like an external camera, it looks a lot more realistic. I think it's mostly the trees, honestly. But even the apex, as you can see the shadowing, I don't like driving with this camera, but um, the shadows is what really looks better and just the, the sharpness of the tree leaves. Like, just looks a lot better in my opinion. I'm looking at a different screen right there, the capture screen, and I just think it looks so much better. everything trees for whoever plays in chase camera which I don't think many people do on Sims but yeah like the shadowing like the trees look really good I'm not driving the best because I'm trying to explain this but uh, yeah in cockpit is where it's at for me because that's what I do I also took some advice and really pushed the the field of view uh, up to the dash. So now, and I brought the screen closer. Uh, this was advice on Reddit. So brought the screen closer, pulled the car seat a lot closer. And now, to me, um, the guys that suggested this were right. Like it really looks realistic. Uh, also bought uh, something to black out around, which. Uh, Makes it darker, makes it nicer. Yeah, those are my settings for visual. I did use reshade, but I got rid of it because I could not get rid of the film grain. And uh, with this, I get a sharper image, or I get a sharp image, but with less film grain, even with the sharpness on. So um, that's why I decided to go with this one.